So a lot of these will be pretty you know, obvious to a lot of you guys who are already running um, paid ads, but there's mainly three methods that we focus on. It's vertical scaling, horizontal, and then cross-platform or cross-media uh, scaling. So the first one there is vertical scaling, and you're probably already all doing this, whoever's um, you know, spending money on uh, Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or whatever it is. It's most obvious, um, you know, it's just adding budget to an existing campaign or an ad set that is already working. Um, so like, for example, there, you know, I've got the uh, campaign running at $100 a day. Um, and a little side note, I will always run our campaigns with daily budgets rather than using the lifetime budgets. Um, reason being is you can't edit, edit the lifetime budgets once you've already set up your campaign. Um, if, you know, campaign budget is, uh, is restricting you and that's why you pr prefer to use it as lifetimes, um, Facebook now, you can actually set a lifetime of that campaign while using the daily budget. Um, option. So we'll always use the daily budget option so you can fluctuate and you can actually scale budgets in this manner. Now, there is a little bit of strategy to it, as simple as it might be. Um, you know, you can't just take a, an ad that's working quite well at $100 a day and then just bump it up to $2,000 a day. The algorithm's not going to like that. It's not going to work. So a bit of a strategy that we do follow is, you know, increasing that budget systemat um, systematically, you know, 25 to 30% every single day or, you know, 50% every 48 hours. Um, now, when you're doing this method as well, be careful and make sure you're keeping an eye on the sizes of your audience as well, because you can you can slowly uh, or quickly saturate that audience. Um, now, another way to do this, um, and it's a bit more aggressive and a bit quicker, is to obviously, if you've got a, uh, a winning combination of, a, of an ad, ad set or a campaign that's working well, you can simply just duplicate that and that can just double that budget. If you, um, you, know, you want to do that a bit more aggressive and you, you have the budgets and you sort of know your market, you know your audiences are in the right spot um, and they're big enough to be able to do it with this method, then you can just duplicate um, those campaigns out like I've done here. We then go on to the second method of um, scaling, which is horizontally. So with horizontal scaling, it's just simply adding new audiences into proven funnels and proven campaigns that you know are already working. So once you've done the, um, the, the vertical scaling, um, you can then jump into the horizontal scaling. And what we do here is we can introduce new audiences, um, it, whether it's building out lookalikes off those um, audiences or from you know, that campaign that's already working well. We're creating a data set there. We create lookalikes off the back of that. So we can introduce you know, 1%, 2%, 3%. This example here at the top, again, it's really tiny. You probably can't see it from where you're sitting, but um, this was working with a, a client over in the States, and they service the UK, uh, a lot of Europe and USA, um, Australia and New Zealand, and they sell medical practitioner um, software and, and packs to, um, into medical devices, or medical devices into practitioners. So um, we were starting, we, we had so much data here, you know, we were generating tens of thousands, probably about 12,000 leads a month with these guys. So we had a data set that we could constantly, you know, create lookalikes off to just bump in and, and add in new audiences to help scale our budgets that way. Um, now, another way you can do this is by introducing new variations of content. Um, so whether that's new creatives, new landing page changes, you know, split testing different um, offers as well, and even changing the ads so slightly, we've noticed has made quite a big difference. So the example we've got down here, and this kind of goes back into you know, the, that audience from the um, previous slide that I showed, if they're starting to saturate and you know, that frequency is hitting 2.6, 2.7, um, I can start to add in new creatives like this into that audience. So that audience may have seen this ad and they've probably got banner fatigue or you know, that, that audience, or that, that creative is, you know, they've, they've seen that enough and they're sort of just blind to that now. So I can start to add in new, in, um, introduce new variations of you know, new headlines, new, um, new imagery, and then I can scale out budgets um, that way as well. Now the third um, scaling method that we've got here is cross-platform scaling or you know, cross-medium uh, scaling. So, you know, if you do have funnels and you're running campaigns that are really working well on a certain platform, like Facebook, for example, there's no reason why you can't just take, take that um, campaign and then mimic that and roll it out on LinkedIn. Test it out on LinkedIn, see if it works. Um, obviously, the targeting, LinkedIn's a very similar platform to Facebook with its, um, the, the actual ads platform. So you can just plug a campaign that you know is already working, it's proven in Facebook or on Instagram, and roll it out on LinkedIn or roll it out on Google, uh, Google or YouTube. Same goes, you know, if you've got an IGTV video that's getting a lot of traction, you can roll that out on LinkedIn and, uh, sorry, on YouTube and same sort of thing. So you can start to scale your budgets out and, and um, introduce new campaigns in that way. 
Another way that you can do this is by converting, you know, proven funnels and successful campaigns that you're running into different media forms. So, um, you know, if you're running a webinar that is, you know, seeing a lot of success, you're getting a lot of people go through that webinar, turn that webinar into an ebook. You know, people like to consume media in different ways. I personally don't have enough time really to sit down and watch a, an hour long webinar. I'd probably rather read an ebook. Whereas other people might, you know, like going through a training series. So the example here is we had this, um, it's just an educational content video that we ran. Uh, it got quite a good uh, response. There was a lot of attraction behind it. So we decided to turn that into a three part video training. So then we could start capturing leads and, and, um, and actually getting that same content in a different format in front of other people who might like to consume that in a different way.